Why are some people allergic to something and others are not? And once you have an allergy, can you get rid of it? Immunomic Therapeutics is developing a potentially groundbreaking technology that stops the allergic response in its tracks. But first, let's look at how the immune system typically handles an allergic reaction. An allergy is an inappropriate immune response to normally harmless proteins in things like ragweed, peanuts, shellfish, and cats. Airborne particles, like pollen grains, are breathed in and can get deep inside the lungs. In an allergic reaction, dendritic cells, or DCs, that have taken up allergen proteins initiate an inflammatory response. The allergen peptide-loaded DCs move to the lymph nodes where they interact with naive T helper cells, or Th0, to initiate an immune response. In the lymph, the DCs secrete interleukin-4, or IL-4, which pushes the Th0 cells to become Th2 cells and also Th2 memory cells. The newly formed Th2 cells, in turn, help B cells to make special antibodies, known as IgE the antibody associated with allergy. In people who develop allergies, inappropriately high amounts of IgE antibodies are made by the Th2 aided B cells. These allergic antibodies circulate and become bound to mast cells that are distributed in the mucosal epithelial tissue layers. Upon next exposure to the allergen, the IgE bound to receptors on the mast cells is bound by the allergen protein, which signals the mast cells to degranulate internally, releasing several cytokines, as well as histamines, prostaglandins, and leukotrienes. These chemical mediators induce vasodilation and inflammation, yielding the symptoms of allergic reactions. DNA vaccines, especially for allergy, are radically different from the classical allergy immunotherapy paradigm. Instead of injecting the allergenic protein itself, the DNA instructions for making the protein are injected. This is potentially a much safer method and utilizes the body's own machinery to manufacture the protein in a contained manner, rather than injecting loose protein into the body. Furthermore, Immunomic Therapeutics is developing a new generation of vaccine therapies by incorporating the genetic sequence for lamp proteins as part of the DNA vaccine. What follows is the proposed mechanism for lamp vax. When plasmid DNA that codes for the allergen and lamp is injected into the skin, it first interacts with innate immune cells, such as natural killer cells, as well as dendritic cells, the plasmid DNA is taken up by the dendritic cell. Since plasmids are derived from a type of bacterial DNA, and bacterial DNA is often naturally found where there is an infection, the plasmid DNA itself makes the immune system respond as if it were an antigen by secreting interferon gamma. As the DC heads to the lymph node, it begins the process of turning the genetic information contained in the vaccine into the desired protein. This starts with a DNA plasmid finding its way into the nucleus and using the cell to make messenger RNA. The mRNA then makes its way into the cytoplasm, where it binds to an available ribosome and begins the process of protein synthesis. The protein is synthesized directly into the endoplasmic reticulum, which in turn forms a Golgi complex. Inside the Golgi, the protein is modified with the addition of protective sugars and uses the lamp trafficking signal to find other proteins that belong in the lysosome. As these proteins all come together, the vesicle buds off the end of the Golgi, forming a new lysosome. This new lysosome containing both lamp and the key MHC2 protein is now free to begin antigen processing. In the lysosome, the lamp fusion protein is at first anchored in the lysosomal membrane, oriented so the allergen fusion protein is sandwiched between both domains of lamp, the outward facing cytoplasmic domain and the highly glycosylated luminal domain. 
Once there, the pH within the lysosome drops and the antigen protein is then processed into small 11 to 15 amino acid fragments. These are bound to a special groove on the MHC2 molecules. The lysosome moves to the DC surface and fuses with the DC membrane, exposing the MHC2 and its cargo to nearby patrolling T cells. As these antigen peptide fragments are presented to these T cells, the DC also releases IL-12 and interferon gamma, priming the T cells to become Th1 cells rather than Th2 cells. This effectively alters the adaptive immune response toward an IgG-oriented response. Th1 cells create even more interferon gamma and over time outcompete the initial population of Th2 cells. This turns the tide. Remaining Th2 cells gradually fade away, as does the allergic response. What is expected from this process, based on early stage data, is that the body has learned to treat this antigen protein like an infection rather than an allergen. Ultimately, the goal is, when the body encounters this antigen protein, it rapidly disposes of it, and the allergy is no more. ITI is conducting additional studies on elucidating LAMP's mechanism of action and its application to pioneering vaccines that can potentially transform lives for the treatment of allergy and other immune-related disorders.